Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time... Um, what the heck are you doing here? What? Hello, little friends! I come here to warn you that these Shadow Sirens were added here. Hello, it looks like I am too late. Uh, what, what? What are you doing here? I have never seen you before in the Boggly Woods in my life. And thanks for interrupting my train of thought. Last time, we were going for the Boggly Woods, and we got Flurry's necklace back because we needed Flurry to enter the Great Tree, and we defeated the Shadow Sirens, who deserved it because at least the oldest one was domestically abusing the younger two. But unfortunately, we also beat up the younger two, so that's not a very cool thing to do. Anywho, this time, we will actually be returning to Flurry's house, giving her back the necklace, and entering the Great Tree. Alright, next battle's giving me a level up. That's good. And man, the enemies are dropping my nice stuff. I like it. Hey, hey, hey! Time for level up, everybody! I'd like some more BP, please. Thank you. Alright. Equipping HP plus, because why not? And I don't need Quake Hammer. I will equip uh, re equip Power Smash. And oh. Well, chill out. I don't think it's gonna be super helpful. I'll equip close call. Well, Not close call. Uh, that's really not gonna help. I guess multi bounce. <laughs> Why not? Multi bounce is probably gonna be of no help to me whatsoever. At least not for a long time, but. I mean, I'm pretty much never going to be in danger, anyways, so close call also will be of almost no help. Alright. Here's the necklace. Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace! I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait for a moment. Oh, yeah. oh splendid, splendid! My oh so ravishing necklace! I'm awash in joy! Oh, no, this is odd. Yeah, that's Flurry. Not a fan of her design. Oh, oh my word, Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? No. Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up! No, I don't want- Okay, sexual assault. <laughs> I love Punio's eyes there. Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. I basically picture her voice to be Gigi Galaxy meets Ursula from Little Mermaid. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of by the little knights in Rogueport? Hmm, a danger-filled search of her beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare, I do declare, <laughs> that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Ugh. We have no say in the matter. Furry, join your party! Furry's abilities are primer. Press X and Furry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold down X to make Furry exhale continuously.
Yep. She can also do a body slam in battle, squashing enemies with her stage presence. Yes, that is the proper term for that. She can also aid Mario by using her Gale Force attack to blow enemies away. It's like Lackaluster's hurricane move, except you still don't get it. Uh, star points. This is wonderful! It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. No, I really don't want that. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us! Let's go to the Great Tree. Flurry is far and above the worst po partner in the game, so I will not be using her unless I absolutely have to. Like, at least Koops is nice because he doesn't directly touch enemies, so he can hit, like, enemies that are totally on fire. Flurry's just bad. Like, she has no redeeming features, really. She can stun enemies to help you get the first strike. But besides that, she's really not great. And yay, the enemies have not respawned again. Thank goodness for that. Never mind. Had to say it. I'm quite a good level at this point. Hey there, Paisamos! Hey, that was lucky. Oh, really? I hate those buckets that randomly drop from the ceiling. It's the worst. Of course. I don't think defending against that does anything. But it was the least I could try. So, Dark Puffs give me one star point, Clefts still give me two. At least that's nice. But honestly, I feel like I should skip most of these enemies. I got an email! Hot dog! Who's it from, Pluto? It's from... It's the RDM Premiere Issue. RDM Premiere Issue! Rogue Port Today, bringing you all the up-to-moment news as it happens. We now have details of yet another incident at the parlor in West Rogue Port. Outraged by the high Pianta prices, Goomfrey, age 30, is suspected of violently shaking the Pianta Changer, age 5, causing the Pianta Changer's alarm to sound, which led to the Pianta Changer causing, ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine, no matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Shop reporter, go! Get all the hottest shopping news ahead about all the shop hottest shopping spots in the world. If Petalburg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years. Nifty Shop. The friendly owner has been long thought to be the most eligible bachelor in town, but word is he secretly in love with the girl at the inn. The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say, you only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at good old Nifty Shop. That started as a wise phrase, and then you just turned that into an advertisement, dude. Cooking for rookies! Interested in cooking but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Today's yummy recipe, fried shrooms. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. That's shroom fry. Fried shroom, you'd have to, like, boil it in oil, basically, until it gets a nice crust around it. Editor's note, we hope you enjoyed the RDM's premiere issue. You can look forward to future editions coming your way soon. Published by the Heroic Port Restoration Committee. Yeah, you get periodic updates of those as the game goes on. It's also nice to learn some of the uh, more tricky recipes in the game. So what we do is we go up here, like he was before, now we use Flurry's power. And there's the secret entrance! It is labeled secret entrance! That's the secret entrance! We can finally get inside! Here I go! Aren't punies just the most precious little fiends? Mario, I feel I must ask, did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage, I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside, the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize. I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. 
As you can see, these dear little punies helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out! I was able to open it from the inside! Come on, over here! The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Yeah, I'm getting Goombella out. She's better. Hurry up! Go inside! That's Punio of the punies. He sure is a hard-working little fella, huh? Don't you just want to cheer him on? I always root for the underdog, or whatever he is. Alright, let's go inside now. Hmm, interesting place. Uh, hmm? Weird. Normally everybody's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder! Everybody, come out! Hello? Hey, dudes. Whoa! Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude. Is that... Isn't that that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. Dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot! Use your head! If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man! Duh! Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this jump! One, two, three, break! Can't flee this fire. Oh, no! I see you with that fire flower. These are X-Knots. These are the main enemies of the game. Yeah, I'm killing him before he can even use his Fire Flower. Since they only have 4 HP. Huge! Attack power is now boosted. Oh, that's not good. That's a tattle on him. That's an x knot. Says here it's classified as an enemy combatant. That description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? Max HP is 4, attack is free, and defense is 0. I forgot they had free attack. They drink these potions that make them all big and burly. Then they attack. One's easy, but if there are two or more, better watch out. Use special moves and items. No way! Goombella's leveled up, so she can just insta-kill one of them. I like how the sound effect for defeating them is deeper if they're huge. c crud That stun man! Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. So doors with a red light above them you can't open. Ones with a green light you can. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally somebody shows up! What are you all doing hiding back there? Come out, for Pete's sakes! I found us a powerful ally! <laughs> He's huge! Um, are you sure Mr. Mustachioed Man won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us, danger! Nice stash. It scares me so early. Now don't worry, everybody. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys? Mario will stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce... Mario. Wait! How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them! Puniper! What are you saying? He's not one of them! Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here! We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Ha! Huh, big bad Punio. Listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking about, Puniper? And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What?! Petunie?! Tell me it isn't so! Oh, it's so alright. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal fiend. 
We told them we'd never heard of it. Oh, poor Petunie. Well, that absolutely tears it. Well, we've got all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything against those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabby tribe is in league with them. They are hoping to make this tree their own once we've been all been driven from it. This is for us. The end! <laughs> and adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it! If we all get together and take care of any stupid Jabbies... So who's with me, huh? Come on, everybody! Let's pool our strength! Ha! <laughs> punio, punio, punio! You have to convince me because I think you're nuts! What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha! Like that'll ever happen. Please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory! Let's go help them. Yeah, Pun Puniper's kind of a jerk. That's Puniper of the Punies. He sure is big for a Puny. Too bad his head is big, too. Snap! Burn, burn, burn. Yeah, he's a, he's a jerk and a bit of a bully, so I don't really feel bad. <laughs> and you'll notice these warp pipes all have those convenient holes in them for the puny tribe. This will come in handy a bit later. But this is the main dungeon of the world, the Great Tree. <gasps> That's a power punch! Boosts your heart partner's attack power by adding buffness. Okay, we shall get rid of the sleepy sheep because sleepy sheep stink. Boy, X knots. Blam! Oh, I forgot about those guys. Ow! Stupid buckets falling from the ceiling. This did not happen in the original Paper Mario. These guys are weird. That's a yucks. Says here it's a creature created in the X-Not Labs. Max HP is free, attack is 2, and defense is 0. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has a mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appear, take those out first. Duh. So they shoot beams like that. And then they also create mini yuxes, which generate shields around them. Mini yuxes you have to tattle on as well. That's a mini yux, a creature made to protect a yux. It can split into two. Max HP is one, attack is zero, defense is zero. These two twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any, any damage to the main yux. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yux. Flurry is pretty effective. She can blow away the mini yux. And because you don't get star points for them anyways, that can be useful, but honestly, it's just better to take out the yux at, uh, quickly. Goodbye, yucks. Flurry is not pretty effective against any creature. Alright, two arms! Oh boy, another yucks up here. Get rid of the Yuxes first, because they're the bigger pain. Even though the x knots are more powerful. At last! And Bingo was his name Oh, I hate how there are all x knots in the audience, because they never give you anything good. That's a cool little attack that they do. Oh, brah! You're too strong. Get out of here. There might be a star piece back there? I don't know. I don't think there's any room there. Man, this is brutal! How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here! 
After all this pointless searching, I'm thinking we're looking in the wrong place. Um, ouch. <laughs> well, isn't that interesting? Elder! Pudio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped! And this is our, dar dar our daring rescue of you. Our rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Big Brother? Hmm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are locked away in that other cell. I don't mind telling you, those uncouth vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever for the elderly. None, none, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask, what's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this, I ask you? Please, I want to know. But anyway, puny, oh, listen. Yes, listen to your elder. I have to say something vital to you. Listen up. Uh, let me think. Where was I? Is that my punio? Petuni, thank heavens! You're here, you're safe! I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it! Of course I would, dear sister, and I've brought us a mighty ally. Look at him! We're going to get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold it tight for a second. Okay. Mario, listen, we've got to find the cell key or we're going nowhere. That sounds like a good idea. I like how they separated the Elder into a separate cell. I also like how the Punies apparently had these cells built uh, from the get-go. Oh, it's you again. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We mustn't stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy! You're that thieving girl we saw before! What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is I've run into more trouble than I expected. More sexual harassment. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch! Who do you think you are, you total floozy? The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. I can't believe that girl! Ugh, I can't stand her! Oh, my aching. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirting. This might be the last time we hear this music in the game. Yeah, you're gonna regret doing this, Doofus. And he's gone. Cabela's head is hard. All that studying, you know. We got a red key! A key that opens the red cell door. I keep wondering what's in these chests that Ms. Mouse is opening. Oh, <gasps> An Ultra Shroom! Heck yeah, we're keeping that. Um, let's see, what can we throw out? Uh, I'll throw out the Power Punch. Honestly, I'm probably not going to use it. No, I don't want the Power Punch. No Star Pieces. Okay, couldn't remember. Well, we got the red key, so... Actually, let's try it in the blue lot. Does that work? The key does not fit. This isn't the right key? Oh, for crying out loud! Big brother! Hello. That's Punio's sister, Petuni. She really cares about her brother. I mean, you can just feel her love for him. I feel totally awful that she's all trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and the rest of them, okay? Big brother, you came! I like how you can duck into the cell, but Punio can't follow. I don't like that he can't follow, but it's a good touch on their part. Who goes locking up an old woman in a place like this? That's the elder that Puniper mentioned. You gotta be real old to be called elder. Being trapped in here can't be good for her health. Let's hurry up and help her. We'll let you out. Elder, we're back! We're here to rescue you! Foolish child! Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut! Huh? What? 
Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and your mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but, Elder, I just want to find help to help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You'll never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture. Never. You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later... Dang. Or else, you got that! From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio! Yes, Elder. Yes, I understand. Bah! Only answer once! I say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came here to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? We're good! In that case, get me out of here already! Cramini! This cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back. And then there's this damp stench. I feel like I'm changing the Elder's voice every sentence. Ugh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother, I'll be waiting. Yeah, the blue key's in a much tougher to reach location. All right, no star piece back there. Okay. You never know, though. Well, if it isn't Punio, Humph! <laughs> you heard me. Humph! <laughs> Can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head! This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy, either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help you until you do. You stubborn mule! Deplorable! How dare you talk like that, knowing what we're up against! We must stand together now! We must take back our tree! Don't you understand that? But... but, Elder... Shut your trap, Puniper! And mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. What do you say your name was again? It was, a. Uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario! He's Mario! I mean, sheesh, he's only world famous! Come on! Yes, yes, simmer down, you! And everyone else, help Martio out clear out our tree! Oh, all right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petuni, too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight, right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies joined your party! Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star jig. Ever heard of it? Crystal star, eh? Hmm, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? All oh, right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, oh, Martio, I'm thinking you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Martio? Crystal Star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. Yeah. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the Crystal Star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. And we get the puny orb, this emblem of the puny leader, given to you by the elder. Alright guys, let's go rescue everybody! So this is kind of the gimmick of the dungeon. We get the punies following us around, and they can help us solve puzzles. Oh, and one more fiend! So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? 
All right, on your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? Yep, so it's a little bit like Pikmin in that you've got these little guys following you around and you can lose them. Like, they don't die, but like you can lose track of where they are. In which case, yeah, come back to the Elder. It's a bit annoying, but it's kind of cool as a dungeon gimmick, I guess. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Farty. Tune in next time. We will be tackling more of the Great Tree. Not sure if we'll beat it. We probably won't because it's a very long dungeon. But we'll just have to wait and see. Have a great day, and God bless.